Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mystery Case Files 13th Skull. We are the greatest hidden object players in the world, Aquatic Editions. My name's Michael. I'm Amanda. And oh boy, have we got a treat for you today. We're going grave robbing. <laughs> are we? I, I don't know. Maybe we can kick the gate in. Uh, it's been about a week-ish since we last played and, uh... As per usual, in keeping with the house style, we don't really remember what we were in the middle of doing. We were running around in the rain to do something, and at some point we're going to talk to a little girl about a secret in the cellar. Which is why we killed a bunch of rats last time out. But while we're here in the backyard, we're looking if there was something cool back here. Like graves we can rob. We can't get in here yet. We need four keys. And also, they're not the keys that we have here. They're different keys. Four additional keys. Like, look... This is like a star key and a diamond key, and none of these are stars or diamonds. These are like a crown and a square and a club and a heart. So. Just hanging out in a town full of keys. Yep. I'm going to have to deal with a lot of keys. Uh, we have changed the caption style. If you watched the last one, we found that we had options for how our narrator was going to talk about the things that she observed unnecessarily. They're always redundant the captions but uh we put them in snarky style and we were unimpressed and it turns out uh wasn't all that funny no so this time we've gone with the third option southern style captions so let's find out how well they've captured tastefully the spirit <laughs> of the south tastefully look i'm sure they did their research it's probably just going to be full of historic facts uh little cultural tidbits Maybe some uh, background on local festivals, <laughs> cucumber days, uh, the Cabbage Fest. All right, we're going to go talk to this little girl. Yeah, tell us why we murdered some rats down there. That's right, we murdered some rats at her behest. So many rats. Oh, well, we'll do the hidden object scene as a reward for sitting For getting through, through this? Yeah, I hate talking to these people. I'm glad you got rid of all those nasty rats in the cellar. They really grossed me out. Before Daddy disappeared, I saw him turning the bottles on top of the wine rack a certain way. I don't know what that does, but maybe you can find out. Maybe the rats knew, and now it's too late <laughs> to ask them. You know, this little girl that did this acting job uh -huh. is like 30 now. <laughs> wow. Makes you think. All right, it's really good for a boat. Some buried treasure. Hey, wait, shouldn't that be buried? How are we just going to find buried <laughs> treasure if it's sitting out? You know, like an X in some dirt. And a rattle. I think that blue and yellow thing on the far left is a rattle. Uh, you are correct. All right. Boat, buried treasure, a wrench. A wrench. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, that's not a wrench, is it? That's like a handle of something. It looks like the handle of a shovel. I think you're right. And All right, how about a snow globe, a plane, some paints? They asked us for this squirt gun before. The paints also they asked us for before. And the duck. And the plane is a drawing on the wood in the front, in the foreground. We had to do that one before. Okay, these are repetitive. The piggy is the piggy <coughs> bank in the upper right. Oh, yeah. So a button, a gnome. The gnome is right up front with his red little cap and his beard. Oh, yeah. The button, I think, is on the eye of the bear. Oh, yeah. That got his face knifed at some point. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is a street fighting bear. Hard life bear. Boat, buried treasure, wrench, snow globe. Snow globe's here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um. There's a tarantula. I don't think those are native to this part of the country. It's her pet. Oh. What about the hissing cockroach in the lower right? Is that also a pet? Yes. For sure. She's one of those entomologists, future entomologist <laughs> kids. Sure. You know the kind. They're everywhere. Buried treasure. Like, pants. <laughs> like here's the wrench. Yeah, okay. Buried treasure is a, a genuinely weird one to ask for. I was optimistic, but now that we're here... Oh, but you know what it is? Uh, look where the cat is. X marks the spot. That's, you know, that's cute enough that I'll forgive it. 
Sure, you already have to be well-versed in pirate lore, but we didn't become the best hidden object game players in the world, Aquatic Edition, without learning a little something about pirates. Especially ghost pirates. We have played so many games with pirates in them. And I don't even like pirates. Nobody likes them. I mean, somebody must like them because they were those Pirates of the Caribbean movies that were huge hits. But they were the bad guys. Remember those nice British sailors and everyone was like, yeah, murder that Johnny Depp. I, you saw different movies than me, maybe. Mm. Alright, so we're going down, 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 back to the yep, cellar. Her dad messed around with the wine, so we gotta... Okay. Seriously, kid, you couldn't tell what your dad was doing when there is a painting on these things? Oh. Honestly, this one's kind of cool. I like the invert and the rearrange. Yeah. That's probably going to be the very end, right? Sure. Why not? And obviously this is the tail, so I'm going to have to go... Yeah, like a bird tail? No, it's a mermaid. Oh, so it is. Those are fins. like it right i mean works for me now oh what? wait no that's upside down because oh. the skull is upside down uh, and now it doesn't quite line up so this one was also upside down yeah more needed to come first the body's got a disconnect there's some uh there you <laughs> go dang you figured out how to do that with a wall just based on the orientation of Wine bottles? This dad's a genius. <laughs> there is no way that that should work. Whoa. Looks like someone's been here recently. Could it be Mr. Lawson? So southern. <laughs> Ask Mrs. Lawson about the hidden room in the cellar. Hey, uh, about that cult thing you've been doing in the basement? <laughs> With that weird faceless yellow saint? It's the king in yellow. The queen Let's in yellow. It. A circular cavity in the statue's chest suggests something is missing. Uh, like the face. Aside from inspiring fear, the headless figure's purpose is unknown. So southern. <laughs> you can really feel the local atmosphere in the way that the narration's changed since we... Yep, yep. Nothing about the feet. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. It looks like this figure might have stigmata, though, so I guess that's exciting. I think it's just rust. Hmm, maybe you're right. Okay, so I guess we're going to go talk to somebody again. My favorite. You know, the last game we played, we complained that it didn't tell us where we were supposed to go next a lot of the time. But having this whole, your next immediate goal is at the bottom, is almost a little too far in the other direction. It's... Way too far in the like, other direction. don't bother exploring or trying to keep track of what you're collecting. Nothing else is going to happen until you talk to Mrs. Lawson in the hidden room about the cellar. I also just don't like that it keeps telling us to talk to these people because I don't want to talk to these people. You've been very busy. I can't believe you found a secret room in the cellar. I wasn't aware there was anything in there besides old wine and rats. You should talk to your husband, lady. This house gets stranger by the minute. And so does your marriage. Why don't you ask Lewis if he's noticed anything odd around the estate? Sure. Who's Lewis? Is that one of the rats we killed? Lewis is Mary's husband. I love that we genuinely like said, had to ask. We saw the state of the manor, we knew we need help fixing the place up. We hired Lewis and Mary to do odd jobs around the property. Last time I saw him, he was doing yard work in the front. Why don't you go introduce yourself? Because I don't want to. Why don't you introduce us? Are you busy? I was so, I'm was so disappointed that Lewis isn't the rat that helps you learn how to cook. <laughs> Ugh. More conversation. You must be that detective I've been talking about. Detective. My name is Lewis Lee. Lose. Looks like we have a quite a storm this evening. What can I do you for? Man, I thought the wife's accent was bad. I'm digging it. Oh, well, I'm glad somebody's getting something out of this. I'd change my mind if he takes that hat off and he's no got a mop under there, too. <laughs> People don't just disappear. 
On the other hand, them swamps is full of nasty critters just waiting to give you trouble. Snakes, gators, and the Lawsons ain't from around here. Wait, what? Maybe all that back and forth in the swamp with that map got him turned into somebody's dinner, if you know what I mean. That was the complete wrong line reading, dude. That wasn't that wasn't <laughs> a list of three. You made it sound like the snakes and gators aren't from around here. <laughs> but it's supposed to be. There's a lot of things in the swamp. Snakes, gators, dot, dot, dot. And the Lawsons ain't from around here, meaning they wouldn't know about the snakes and the gators. Let's take it from the top and make it about 60% even more Louisiana. <laughs> Michael actually has directed voice actors before. <laughs> so, so I would is, not have let that line reading go through. Yeah, this is coming from a place of experience. Uh, I will say his accent is actually closer to being authentic. It's just so much... Uh, okay. Clicking again. Mm-hmm. Same as the one you're carrying. That was bad, though. I do believe he thought falling that map around would lead him to riches. You're losing it, dude. Listen, buried treasure, ghosts, UFOs got one thing in common. Doesn't they need a possessive agree. S on the UFOs. He ran to Kentucky somewhere during that <laughs> sentence, and he never came back to Louisiana. Oh, Gator, got my accent. <laughs> Just chomp on down that boy, Jamalaya. <laughs> I don't put much stock in such nonsense, detective. Detective. My wife Mary is a different story. <laughs> you may have met her upstairs in the manor. Mrs. Lawson hired us to clean up the place, but all this rain's making it hard to get anything done. Well, I'll keep raking, fool. <laughs> you wouldn't mind fetching me some proper work. Yet. I would. I would mind so much. Do not work for you. God. Damn it. How do we get talked into these things? Uh. We're a detective. <laughs> we don't collect ring gear. Uh, okay, well, we can also dig in here if we've got a... We don't. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, so keep an eye out for a trowel, I guess, along with all his crap. Seems like the kind of thing that would be uh, in that shed out back. Or in this closet here? Uh... No. I I feel like a trowel really ought to be outside. Yeah, but there's a jacket. <laughs> I'm not saying there's no reason to be in here. <laughs> My focus is on the trowel. Well, I know, but this is the thing that it's telling us to do right now. And... So, a hat, boots, gloves, an umbrella. Yeah. Let's see. Anything in here? I mean, it wouldn't be, because this is his and this, this family stuff, so... I'm here. Look at me applying logic to this. Like it's gonna. Make I mean, sense. we found something in the garbage that shouldn't have been there. So who knows? Yeah, I mean, but I still want to check the fridge. <laughs> I just want to look at that fridge again. That fridge is great. Uh oh, here's his gloves. Uh huh. All right, here we go to the shed. Here's his boots. Um, just his hat and the umbrella. Then. Yep. But. Maybe a trowel also. Where would it be? It would probably be hanging up, right? <laughs> you sure did inspect that chain. Yep. We have got an eye for it. Right. Broken stool. <clears throat> Nothing more to learn Is about it, that. We can't. Can we still look at the grill? That weird collection of stuff in here? We can. But. Uh, neither... Does he need dynamite? <laughs> Who doesn't need dynamite? Does he need a sandwich? God, this grosses me out every time. <laughs> How about just a turkey tossed in the ashes? <laughs> it's nasty. Uh, okay, nothing there. Nothing new there. Uh, it's not going to be down there, right? A hat? I, mean, I don't think so. No. There's not a lot of props down there. Some stuff might be upstairs, I suppose. Could be. We should Maybe his wife check has the, got something. The music room. Right? Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't see anything of his here. I'll check in here too. Why not? Let's uh, get there's the umbrella oh, in here. There's the umbrella. Good thing I came in here. I will kill you, dog. <laughs> Growl at me one more time. 
Um, is it in here with his wife? Check the chamber pot. <laughs> they had a fight. Yep. She was like, I'm done with that man in his hat. Here's your pee hat. <laughs> Okay, uh, we can't go in this closet, so it's not in here. I mean, it wouldn't. Would it be in the bathroom? Surely not. Wait, I, j I cannot keep these hallways straight. I feel like a fool every time, too. Um, mm, hats on the mirror. Oh! So, yes, could be in here. <laughs> Here's our Here's the thing he's wearing a hat. Why are we getting him a different hat that's not rain gear anyway. The hat he's currently got is better than a baseball cap. Don't ask questions because he'll talk more. Mm. <laughs> I don't think this rain will ever lay it up. I feel like in my life experience rain does stop. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, place the gear in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> I don't feel like I've ever been anywhere but this front yard. <laughs> My memory doesn't go back more than 20, 30 minutes. We're th Here, bury your stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to hand it to you. Did he change hats? He did. He He's did. wearing a worse hat. Well, thanks for rounding up them dry clothes, detective. Last thing I need to do is catch a cold. Or get eaten hey, by uh, a gator. What do you think <laughs> of this uh, metal shape I found down by the base of the old fountain? I'm into it. <laughs> I'm going to put it in my pocket. I don't know what it is either. Wish we knew where Mr. Lawson got off to, though. He promised to pay me cash for any of this weird stuff that I might dig up around here. Suppose he thought it was part of his lost treasure. <laughs> wow. Put some so. real stink on that line reading. <laughs> weird stuff. <clears throat> you got to be kidding. You seen that crazy fountain? The fish fountain? I don't know who built this place, but who put something like that in your front yard? Fish people. You ought to climb up the <laughs> attic. You want to see that other weird contraption? Hell yeah, we will. We could probably fix the stool out there in the shed what? if you can't reach the stairs to the attic. Of course, you're going to need some nails and other stuff first. Feel free to get it for us. You <laughs> probably know where that is. No? Too busy raking clumps of wet leaves in the rain? <laughs> I'm more convinced than ever that these two were hired out of pity and just to keep them off the street. Is this what he's talking about? This thing? Yeah. Alright, well, we can't do anything with it yet, I guess. Go to the shed, locate the replacement spindles. Okay, we couldn't do this before for some reason. Only now are we able to click on these. Only now are we interested in genuinely fixing the stool. <laughs> uh, do you see the other one? That's the chain. Oh, there it is. Good eye. Alright. Alright, let's slam them home. Whoa, it gets much bigger. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but not for it to grow three sizes tall. Okay. Yes, it does. Now let's take it. Does it need to be... Oh, God. to skin a rabbit. All right, now that it's southern, we've got some useless apostrophes and such. Nice. The nails. we got to find nails. There's one on the far left sticking out of the wood. I guess we can just pry any old nail. Okay. Oh, we straightened it out somehow with our bare hands. <laughs> Um, Search around the rear of the manor for some nails, so they may not all be here. I guess not. Yeah, I'm, they're too small to see anywhere else than this. I, so I feel like they're probably going to be foregrounded. Are there any here? There's one on top of the clock. Wow, we stuck our hand in there. Gross. <laughs> Never <laughs> clean. <laughs> Uh, I think that's it for that. Do we keep that. wandering around? Do you think more of it's inside? Here? I mean, I'm, yeah. Oh yeah, there's a nail. There's one. And then we need... What's... 
They never seem to put more than one of these in a single room, so. Yeah, but like the there's one right in the foreground there. There we go. Just Beer. bend it back with our bare hands. Oh, now we got to use a. We were doing the others with our hands. Uh huh. Man, we're badass. All right, is that is that all we needed? Four I think of them. So. Yeah, we're done. All right. Repair the stool, and then it's up into the attic to look at a weird contraption. It's going to make me place each one individually. And then do we have to hammer them, or can we use our bare hands again? <laughs> I want to just... Hi, Kiba! Drive them in with just force of will. Nope. All right. Fine, we'll use tools. And throw the hammer away. <laughs> I mean, hang it back up here in the shed. <laughs> where we can come get it whenever we need it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's pretend that's how it works. Stool on the balcony. Um. Can we pry that off with the hammer we just got rid of? We still have it. Oh, we still have it. Damn. Whoa! Man, we're the Incredible Hulk. Nice. Uh, is it going to tell us that we can't go any further because of bees? Because of the bees, yeah. Angry bees. All right. Uh, Smoke them out. Set them on fire. Yep. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. Oh. Oh, the southernness. Oh, well, I don't need to go further. They're right here. Yeah. Forget you, bees. Go straight to hell, bees. Bee hell. <laughs> Explore the attic to find clues. Bee right. hell has no Let's flowers. Let's also take the holy grail while we're here. Okay. <laughs> Stick it in our pocket. Well, oh, there is oh, something here. Look at a hole. I can see a cluttered study through a hole in the attic floor, but I have no way down. Sure you do. The same way you came back up, weirdo. <laughs> Throw a rope. Holy shit! Whoa! <laughs> we did it! That's insane. Why did we do that? So that's why we were carrying the rope around. <laughs> Somehow right. we knew. Let's do the hidden object scene. Okay. Wow, what a cluttered mess. Somewhere here is an oil lamp, so maybe we can get a genie on our side? Right here. Yep. Uh, garden shears, an umbrella, a Bunsen burner. Hmm. Oh yeah, I see a microscope. Not on the list, but there's some science that they needed to keep hidden from the locals. <laughs> so they don't get burned as a witch. Yikes. I think it's a Bunsen burner on the far right. Uh, the blue thing. Oh yeah. Yep. Uh, also a bat, a fish. There's the rat. Didn't get that far. Xylophone, telescope, telephone. The xylophone is uh, kind of by that horned instrument. Oh, yeah. Headphones. Money. Money. Mo money. That's for us. That's ours. We oh, detected oops. it. Oh, God. I forgot that it does that. The plants hate us. <laughs> I forgot. Oops. Nature strikes back. You can't just right. randomly click on stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, so, umbrella, bat, fish. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Fish. Is that a... Oh, it's a cat looking backwards, that white thing. Yeah, that's a cat. I think the, uh, the picture is a little bit elongated, widened out to fit our screen, you know? Is that a metal? That's not a metal. Is this a metal? That's a metal. That's a metal. You know, a metal can look like almost anything, game. Here's a gift. Nice. Gift could also look like almost anything. Yeah, you can give that teddy bear as a gift. <laughs> or the death mask of Tutankhamen. <laughs> which they also have stashed up here. Yep. Alright. A bat, Man, really? We gotta get serious. Yeah, I'm not Oh, wait, I was looking for the animal bat. Do they mean like a baseball bat? Oh, God. <laughs> that was it. We're fools. Uh, we've been playing this long and we're thinking that they're sophisticated. They're not. There's you got to remember, this is, this is an obvious game. They're, that's a typewriter, right? It yeah. could be a telephone. Nope, it's a nope, typewriter. Typewriter. The telephone's probably going to be an old-ass one, though. Because when we found one before, it was like one of the kind Oh, yeah. That... No, it's black, 1950s style, next to the roller skate to the left. Oh, yeah, big life phone. 
All right, so we're down to just an umbrella. Well. Which I'm surprised has eluded us this long. It's just a boring thing to find. They didn't so. hide it in the, the ship's wheel, which is what I thought they'd do. Hmm. 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 Here's a plunger. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> I mean, it's got a dome. It's got a wooden handle. Nope. It won't accept that as a substitute for some reason. So picky. Uh, is this going to be some It's whack not thing one of those color it's... things where you have to open a drawer. There's no second stage to any of this. No, and it's not one of those whack things where it's just like a drawing of an umbrella, is it? I don't see drawings layered anywhere All in right, here. Alright, that's enough of that. We're going to do the hint. What? I don't even see what you're pointing oh, at. Oh, it's behind the boa. You can see a little bit of pink and then a handle in shadow. Deep oh, shadow. Oh, whatever. <laughs> That's what. That's the kind of thing the hint was made for. For mm -hmm. you being punks, that was useless. Ooh, investigate the study for clues. Why couldn't we just come in through the door? We don't. Oh, because it was locked. It was right? locked. Now it's not. Now it's not. All right. Uh, inspect desk. Mr. Lawson's obsession with pirates is quite evident, given the shape of this room. Oh, okay. I guess, yeah. The shape is in the shape it's in. The condition it's right, in. Right, the yeah. condition of it. Uh, Phineas Crown. I don't... I feel bad every time I click on one of those. I feel like I'm giving the game what it wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you won this round, game. <laughs> I clicked on your hidden object. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Um, can we... Monogram suggests someone possessing the initials AB has been here recently. Stop! Stop doing captions that just reiterate what we can plainly see. Oh, it's so annoying. Why would you assume someone... Like, handkerchiefs made of cloth can last a long time. Someone AB may have last seen it 50 years ago. And someone just inherited a handkerchief. I wouldn't want to meet this fellow in a dark alley. Yeah, That's... hell no. He'd be an illustration. That would be horrifying. <laughs> He'd be like, ah, what happened to reality? I'm used to only meeting human beings in alleys. But you're a drawing, just a floating drawing of a face. <laughs> and you seem happy. <laughs> How are you existing in this alley? Please, God, spare me. You know, that old southern idiom, I wouldn't want to meet this guy in a dark alley. Uh-huh. Only southerners say that. Uh, can we get into this? Yeah, we can read this. Captain Phineas Crown, also known as the Black Crown, was an 18th century English privateer turned pirate. Crown gained infamy by overtaking scores of weakly defended French, Spanish, and English trading vessels entering the Gulf of Mexico via the lucrative Caribbean Sea routes. Unlike the other famous pirates content with absconding with treasure, Crown and his men commandeered the entire vessel, leaving no survivors. When reading about Captain Phineas Crown, it is important to be able to distinguish between fact and fiction as often... Mr. Lawson was rather intrigued by this Phineas Crown. I should find out more about him, like that he used to live here. Like, read the rest of the book. You want to find out more <laughs> about him? It's right there. That's a book about him. Mm, no. That's all we need. I've detected everything in here. <laughs> I'm the best detective. Can, can we go back up? That was quite the ordeal Maybe just take the here. stairs. <laughs> oh, fine. Right. Well... Yeah, okay. Well, do we need to go back to the attic? No, it says we gotta return to Mrs. Lawson. I don't wanna... I don't wanna talk to these She's people. paying our bills. I, I swear to God, dog. I haven't seen any money yet, except the money that's laying around that it won't let me take. Judging from the ruckus upstairs, it sounds like you've been keeping yourself rather busy, detective. Please tell me you've found some clues to Marcus's whereabouts. He is not in the attic. He's also not in the study. Uh, After Marcus found that map, he turned the third bedroom upstairs into Treasure Command Center. He used it as a dumping ground for all the junk he collected about this supposed pirate. It was the folks that he met at that tavern down the road that stirred his interest in all this nonsense. This, the supposed pirate is such a weird way, yeah, <laughs> way to be skeptical he, about this. I mean, it was a real guy. The book says he was a real pirate. <laughs> 
You don't have to say alleged anymore. He's not going to sue you. Some towny dive bar down by the river. I would rather you stay focused on finding Marcus. Yeah. But if you must, you should protect yourself from the mosquitoes. What? There should be some bug spray in the closet by the stairs. How bad are the mosquitoes between here and the bar? <laughs> oh, also, why did you just tell us about this bar and then tell us it wasn't important? <laughs> like, you seem to think it was significant ten seconds ago when you brought it up. All right. We're going to go anyway. We're, We're obviously going to go anyway, but like, I'm just, I'm just, the way this is written is so goofy and That ridiculous. penny, the Lincoln penny is the coin we're looking for. Oh, that's not a penny. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, above chocolate. the blue thread. Um, I don't know what it is. I'm not seeing anything right now. Uh, you see the brown cigar to the right or down from the dice? No, I don't see anything. Nothing. I'm blind. Okay. <laughs> Let me take the mouse there for just long enough to rescue our president. <laughs> and then the cigar is to the left. Right, I okay. see that. Now you're back on track. Uh, thimble is silver right there. Bug repellent. That's what we came here for. I guess that's in the pump. You think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's how we're going to put thought, it on ourselves. We thought that was a bicycle pump when we saw it before. Yep. A fingerprint. Um, oh, you found that. It's like, there. Uh, comb, screw, scissors. Uh, the scissors Screws are there. Is at the top left. Yeah, we found the that before. The comb is behind the. Yep. Is this the comb? No, no this down is the comb. there. Watch, knitting needles, pliers. The watch is a pocket watch, right? Yeah. Uh huh. We also found that before. The pliers? knitting needles were by where the comb was. All right. So, pretty much all we have to do is remember what was here last time we were here. <laughs> and we can spin right through these. Yeah. Cool. Are we putting this in our own face? <laughs> or we're holding on to it so we can get past a mosquito cloud on the way to the bar. Hey, do you think we can use it on the bees too? Sure, why not? Let's murder everybody. What? That's not the saying? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him think. Another famous southern idiom that only they say. Canvas the town. Alright. Let's go hit up the townie bar. Um, so that's gonna be like, wait. Around the back, right? Carriage house path? Uh. Side of. I don't know. It's this way, I think. Okay. Right. Swamp? Oh, right, oh these mosquitoes. You're about as handy as a back pocket on a shirt. Um, yeah, but those are literally the mosquitoes that are in our way. So if you could just mosquito. Just you're, just take care of the mosquitoes there, buddy. If you could. You're as pretty as a pumpkin and half as smart. Oh, I have to put it. You have to have the aiming end right at the cloud. Okay. All right. Well, this half smart pumpkin just solved your <laughs> mosquito puzzle. Oh. Mama Amy's Voodoo Absolute. It says it's closed. Come on, buddy. I know. I want to see the caption. I want to see what Southern Wisdom we were going to get for trying a door. The Southern closed. Wisdom is, it's closed. You have to wait. <laughs> Ain't that just like the South? <laughs> Ladies night, two night. Men's is it? wet t-shirt contest? That's cute. That's that's not. Okay. It's the South. It's, tater's it's also almost Christmas, apparently. Tater's drinking smaller. Drink and swallow. Yep. Don't just drink. You can get a po' boy here. Nice. Oyster uh, po' boy. What's this? Red rooster something uh, something? Something brewed lager? Corn it could brood? say corn brewed lager or cock brewed lager <laughs> since it's red rooster, but I can't. Maybe there'll be another sign inside and we can really get down into the brands around here. Oh, why did Oh, I do not want to talk to that guy. I don't. Okay, let's talk Let's to avoid first. talking to Soul Patch. Welcome to the drink and swallow, stranger. You here to pick up that carryout? Uh huh. Is it a po' boy? <laughs> I'll eat someone else's po' boy. I don't give a damn. The chicken gumbo? Oh, never mind, Shug. I thought you was here from down the road a piece. Just as well, I guess. Our cook Lamont didn't bother showing up for work again tonight. How old is that gumbo? Water acting up on account of the weather. Say. You look like you know your way around the kitchen. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm seeing if you could cook up that gumbo. The one you were trying to offer me? Lives down the lane. 
You here for the gumbo that ain't cooked? <laughs> I was just going to hand you a pile of ingredients and say, I don't know, stew it in your dumb mouth. You kind of look like the angry guy from down the lane that I know you're not. What is happening here? <laughs> we're, we're playing hidden object game. That's they, what's happening. Okay, they have one of their specials is deep fried lettuce. What? Got a good looking ladies in here tonight. Who's talking? <laughs> I don't know, but let's talk to this guy instead. Let's find out when he's going to get his shirt wet, because that's what I'm interested in. Oh yeah, and roadkill fritters. Now I'm seeing. We reserve the right that. to refuse service to Jim Bob. Are you Jim Bob Vinton? Well, afternoon, stranger. <laughs> Name's Vinton. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I work over at the library in Raceland. Oh, he's learned. Normally I'd be over there updating the card catalogs right about now, but I heard it was... Because the books keep night. changing on you? So I figured I'd wander on down to the Swaller, see if I couldn't bag me a honey. Ugh. Why don't you sit down? Keep me company. How about no? <laughs> How about never? And also, why are you making me talk? Let's hose him down. See if he can win us some money. Let's team up with him. I have no idea who you're talking about. Shouldn't tracking people down be the sheriff's business? Unless that fellow owes you money. Is that it? You a gambler, stranger? That's quite a leap. I could be a leg breaker. <laughs> I don't know why you assume I need to gamble to get money back from people. <laughs> Listen. After a few drinks, I tend to forget my own history, let alone that of this here neighborhood. Especially my medical God. history. Do not well, ask about my... Course from quite a while back. <laughs> Tell you what, though, gambler. You beat me at a game of checkers. Oh, a real gambler. Oh, someone look up the history of that house that fella just moved into. Or, or, I, or, or I could go to the fucking library. You, yeah, you reckon it might be in a book? A book of local <laughs> history? A librarian? Or is that why you have to update the card catalog because you lost the whole history section? In fact, it doesn't even have to be a book from the library. It's the book in the study. We just have to turn the page. I'm a little busy? That is Vinton's voice, isn't it? I, Don't talk to him again. I, Let's make some gumbo. I think we have to play him in checkers. To get gumbo? No, to talk. I don't know. We have to play Are him in Are we actually playing? Too. Did they program a checker game in here? They did. Do you even remember how to play checkers? Because I don't think I do. Yeah, move that one upright. Alright, now jump him. Well, bam. Take that. Well, I mean, we're we're even, and now we're gonna... And now we can jump you again. And then, yep, uh-huh. So far, all checks out. So you can uh, move up that one, or... I mean, can we jump no, around? We no, can't jump around. you really do not remember. I don't remember! And then you got some safety if you juke up to the right, because he can't jump you. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then we could go even further up right and just kind of wait for him to pop out. Oh, perfect. He's wide open. Sprint up! See, if we make it to that back row, we get kinged. Oh, but in the meanwhile, it, there's an opportunity here. If we uh, don't let him jump us, move someone up for protection from the back row. Or we could jump him. But then we're going to get jumped. Okay. So I move this one? Sure. Okay. Uh-huh. So. Give me a break. Oh, we'll break your legs. That's what we do. <laughs> uh-huh. You better run, punk. <laughs> uh-huh. Now jump. Voila. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We're killing them. I can't believe they programmed a whole checkers game into this hidden object thing. Uh-oh. Uh, Gotta get some protection. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Well, we can uh, start working another uh, red checker up to get kinged. Oh, of course, if you do that, then we're vulnerable, so... Jump! No, 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 no! What? Jump that fool! He's threatening you. Jump that fool. Oh, you're getting jumped left and right. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> oh, we're just eating his lunch. Jump that fool. Keep it coming. We're still hungry. <laughs> we haven't even had gumbo. You keep feeding us your pieces. Give me a break. The only break you're going to get is gumbo to the face. Oh, dang it all. <laughs> 
one, stranger. You done bested me at my own game. Tell you what. Give me a few minutes and I'll call my friend over at the library. It's a big enough library? There's more than one of you? Historical information we can dig up on that there house of yours. I'll fax over whatever he finds. A fax? Now get lost. You're hurting my chances. I think having checkers at your table was also hurting your chances. <laughs> that and that whole face thing you got going on. <laughs> I think being bitten is the problem. <laughs> Happy hour. Uh, swillin' soda, frog legs, swamp juice, two to, two bucks. Yeah. I will say, I've been making fun of all the other people's southern accents. Yeah. But that guy's barely an attempt. It's, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> I know, it's the worst. Oh. I mean, you got to at least hand it to the others for commitment. Uh-huh. He's not even, he's Lally just barely. Ladies in here. He's a okay. transplant. Is he can that, grow up around here. Okay. Well, I'm glad you On tap, there's a roadkill amber. There's a mad cow lager. Mm. Uh, something gator ale. I gotta play this claw machine. Oh. You don't have time. Hey, why does it even give me the option then? I guess we'll play it later. Uh, oh, I gotta go to the kitchen where I'm probably gonna find more of these. Whoa. Wait, that's the gumbo we're meant to be cooking, isn't it? Looks like this gumbo is missing something. I see. Isn't it doesn't quite have all the stuff. It's telling us to find this, but and there it is. But, okay, now it's like... There you go. It. Found it. All right. Maybe there's more in here. Probably. Uh. Ugh, how long has it been since that guy was at work? No one's washed a dish since he left off shift? <laughs> Everything in this game is making me feel like I need a shower. Who needs the reminder to use hot water? <laughs> Why is there broccoli in a basket? This is horrifying. <laughs> this is this is worse than the refrigerator. Is that a band-aid? <laughs> is that a lure for fishing? Uh, is this a spork? Do I, they expect, want one? I expect to find a human ear in here. <laughs> All right, so an oven mitt, a tomato, a cake. A fly swatter. That's so hygienic. <laughs> There's a cockroach. Oh, right. Of course there is. A sausage, a french fry, a lime wedge. A toaster? A whole toaster? Is that the lime wedge? No, that's a that's something else. All right. Here's the lime wedge. Now we can make a margarita. Somewhere there's a toaster. There's toast behind the up against the wall. Do they just mean toast? No. They're serious. A toaster. A toaster here. Uh, I don't know if I believe Oh. I that think, is a tiny I think toaster. We know what happened to the missing cook? I think he stuck a toaster in the sink and he left couldn't it take it himself. anymore. We're gonna find him like underneath this sink. There's one Brussels sprout. We need that. Nobody can smell him over the stink of all these dishes. It claims that there is an ice cream scoop. Yeah, I've been looking for that and I don't see it. Um, tea bag, I see. Is Lufa on the list? Because here's one of those. Uh, no, it is not. Here's the French, French fries fry is right up front. Yep. Uh, is this a, is this the asparagus? That looks like that's pea a pea. Yeah. The uh, asparagus is lower left. Oh yeah. The honey jar is behind the bananas. There's the tomato. You see the oven mitt? Is this? Yeah. The oven no, mitt? it's behind the bananas too. Oh, is this? Nope, right there. Cake. They mean that muffin that's under the... No? Nope. Cake. Different different cake. They don't mean the biscuit that's on that uh, plate in the foreground? Nope. Nope. Cake. Wow. I don't... See, cake is a beautiful thing. I don't recognize this as food. <laughs> My eyes are just recoiling in horror. Yeah. What about um, the bread shape thing to the left of the muffin you keep clicking on? Is that? Nope. Just that's not bread. cake either. All right. What about the thing that looks like it could be frosted? What about cake? Oh, you found it. Okay. <laughs> so now we need to find a thing for scooping ice cream or a scoop of ice cream. There you go. Okay. Honey. Honey. Is that to bribe the bees with? Probably. We've returned your stolen honey. Alright, um, so here's some other onion. gross half eaten. Need the onion. Half eaten apple. Um, what else? Do we need. 
We didn't need the pepper mill. No. Nope. Salt we need. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be here. Nope. Where else? Where else? Now, some of it might be out in the front, actually. Because it says search the tavern, so. Yeah. We can also check out back, see if someone threw that turkey out the back. We can't get out the back. Oh, okay. Doesn't seem like. Alright, uh, can't look there. Can't look in the oven. Yeah, can't look anywhere else anymore. I feel like the claw machine is going to have something that we have to get in it. But it won't let me look at it. Ah, oh, taunting me with the claw machine. It's a shame and a waste. Um, I don't want to talk to the bartender. I just want to find this junk and leave. Where's the... Oh, wait, here's the salt, right? That just looks like a pint glass that oh, hit the floor. Right. No, that's the... There's really nothing thing. but this front area and then the the kitchen? Seems like. Huh. Can we find it? Oh, maybe around side. tavern side. Here there we, we go. go. So there's a big thing of oversized tomatoes. All right. Whoa. The tavern cellar is locked tight. I hope so. We got a bunch of keys. You think our, one of our keys fits there? No. But, you know, we're here. You look busier than a long-tailed cat. We are turning this off. In a room full of rocking chairs. Can. This is awful. This seems tougher than a $2 steak. I don't know. It's kind of growing on me. Ah! <laughs> it's a monkey's paw in here. Why is there a monkey's paw in with the raw turkey that also, we're going to cook with? Yep, we're getting that turkey. The hidden thing. Mm. Inspect the smoker. Okay. Disgusting remains of a barbecue. Yuck, then why are you hauling ingredients out of it? Who cooked a monkey? <sighs> Horrified. Cooked crawdads is yep. guess what's usually there. I'm horrified. Uh, oh, move to a tavern hallway. Okay, Great. there's somewhere else so, to look. Back hallway. Uh, Wall of shame. I bet those are the game developers. <laughs> Probably. Accurately named, okay. Dial 911. <laughs> Dial the health department. Uh, I guess we need me. coins. Need some money if I'm going to be making any calls. Yep. We actually have money, don't we? Do we? Yeah, I got a quarter. Is that what... If brains were leather, you wouldn't have enough to saddle a June bug. Well. Operator? Nope. Well, oh, get our coin back. You better not have eaten our quarter. Oh no. We should have waited until it gave us a number very obviously tacked onto a... a Post-it note or something? <laughs> yep. Oh, here we go. I guess this is how we find the salt. This is where the salt will be. A bell, a boot, a staple puller. Hmm. You know, I just realized that uh, bowl with the door handle on the side, I think that's like a form of barbecue, isn't it? Like you'd put coals in it and cook stuff. I've heard of those. Like a, it's a different kind of barbecue thing. Yeah, there's also an ancient torture device like that. It's like a... Also true. Yeah. Yeah. Bronze so it's bowl. one of those two. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe barbecue. <laughs> there's also a banner actually half covered by that gnome that says mechanical bowl. So maybe... At one point, this thing used to be rideable. That actually mm. makes more sense. Okay. Anyway, we're looking for a bell, a boot, a staple puller. Are we looking for a ring? Because I see a ring. Uh, no. No, no ring. It does uh, say keys, and it looks like there's the shadow of keys hanging there. I guess those count. Yep. A purse a surge protector. Man, surge protectors don't get a lot of love in these games. There it is. And that is a perfectly uh, common shape that you could use. Mm-hmm. Um, is this the rubbing paper? What could be. rubbing paper look like as opposed to other kinds of paper? I guess it's this. Uh, the staple remover is in the upper left. Bell, boot, purse. 
Is the bat the bat is another baseball bat? Baseball bat, bat yeah. I thought they would switch it up and make it the animal to mess with us, but no. Nope. Uh, there's the boot. Nice. Um. Is that duct tape stuck to the front of the bowl? Yeah. I think that's duct tape. Yep. Weird. They're not asking for that. No, I just got distracted. This isn't a pump, is it? This is some kind of hole uh, puncher. I can't tell. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. eh, click on it, find out if it's something. Nope. Nope. It is nothing. Are they are they being cute and it's the kind of this kind of pump? Yeah, probably. Oh. Uh, this game hasn't been cute before. What's going on? <laughs> All right. So there's a safe somewhere. Here's a phone. The safe is uh, the front legs of the bull. Oh yeah. Um, I see the envelope. Good eye, good eye. Fountain pen is over here with all the pens. That uh -huh. make, that Makes checks sense. out. <laughs> uh, bell and a purse. I really expected that the purse was gonna stand out. Yeah. M meanwhile, and in the yet... distance, a mighty beast roars. <laughs> Why is there a dressmaker's dummy back here? You see that? Oh yeah. Or or a cut out two dimensional paper flat of one like that. I don't know if you can actually fit one back there. Look, if we're going to start questioning the veracity of the objects on the screen, we're never going to stop. Where's a purse? Oh, it's this kind of bell. Nice. But where's the purse? That's the question. It's a purse. Do they mean a prize purse? <gasps> it's that. I just clicked on that because it looked weird. <laughs> Rubbing paper was the thing we took. Not the last ingredient we needed. Somebody just spilled all their shit everywhere. Nobody picks glasses up off the floor. I think everyone who works here has like spinal injuries and they can't bend over. Hey, there's people to call. All right. Who do we want to call? Mm, I don't know. A list of tavern employees. Yeah, but that's... I guess she's going to tell us... To call somebody? Once we have satisfied her hunger for gumbo. Her gumbo needs. Yeah. Anywhere else? Anywhere? Is there a salt shaker here? That's the same thing. Salt shaker. Salt shaker. No salt back here? We came all the way back here and no salt? Nope. Everything is that. Crazy. Son of a... Mm -hmm. That's, that was where we were. All Did right. we find something in this hallway that was related to the... Yeah, we found corn. Oh, right. So we found the one thing that's going to be here. Oh, nope. Or... We found the salt shaker in this gross mess. That lollipop still had plenty of life in it when someone tossed it out. Maybe it was just a bad flavor. Mm. This is a Barbie head. That's crazy. All right. Um, so we go back around. All the way around. And then to the front. Well, I guess every dog should have a few fleas. But, well, that but, you are a terrible pet owner. <laughs> you should not be settling for any number of fleas. Alright, I guess we just... Throw that in. <laughs> Gloop. <laughs> the entire thing. You know, if somebody randomly asked me to make, like, gumbo or jambalaya or whatever... Uh-huh. That's how I would do it. I would just throw this stuff in whole without stripping Don't the husk. Don't chop up the onion. Off of the... Yeah, oh. that's exactly what I'd do. Just a whole fucking turkey. Take and it. definitely a garbage chicken. Here. Nobody should eat this. I have some onion skin. This honey isn't no. perfect. No. Sausage, though. Sausage is. And the hot pepper. There. Enjoy. That's not enough pepper. All right. Deliver it to the angry guy down the lane. He knows what he did. What? How do we deliver it? Like, I think we, we just assume. About as happy as a dead pig in the sunshine. Is that happy? <laughs> I do not understand the South. All right. Um, I think we just have it. I think we, we just we assume have we have it. it. We don't have it though. It says deliver it. We can't deliver it if we don't have it. We have. Gumbo. We do have it. I thought See? that was a trash can. Maybe. It is. It is. A it's a trash bag full of gumbo, just like he ordered. All right. Come get your trash gumbo, angry person. Uh, 
the angry guy down the lane. Which lane? What? We can't go any further. Is it down here? Service station? Maybe at the service station. Fresh chum. Also closed. Drink slurry. <laughs> I don't think I will. Even though it says it's good. All right, so we can't force a delivery. Oh, gas station interior. I don't care if you're closed. Eat this garbage bag of gumbo. Oh, thank God that says fresh chum. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that out of the corner of my eye. I thought this was going to be a very different game for a second. Uh, okay, wow. Well, this is okay. great. Honestly, 100% love the gator on top of the bait. Yes. Perfect. Amazing. And the whole car. Whoa. All right. What's up, indoor crow? <laughs> Uh, uh, ice pick gas can monkey wrench. It is going to be so hard to see things here. Yeah, there's a lot of metal on metal happening. Gosh. The, the wrench is behind the crow, I think. Yep. yep. Uh, ice pick is down right there. Uh, gas can, bright red, behind the axe. Moth, oil can, and a pen. There's dentures on the ground. There's the moth. Uh-huh. Keep thinking horseshoe, horseshoe. There's no. the duct tape again. I don't want that. Nope. Oil can, pen, diamond ring. Oh, we're not giving that back. <laughs> Is they want a key? There's a key here. Why? Why they got a shelf pickle? <laughs> hey, who put their pickle down over here? <laughs> who lost a pickle? <laughs> There's a goddamn hand grenade in one of these drawers. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Is this a giant beetle? Yeah. Oh my god. And there's a bird skull. Yeah, I believe it died in that spot. <laughs> and that's all that's left. There's the oil can. Uh, you saw a horseshoe. That's on the list. No, I, saw, I said I keep mistaking this for a horseshoe and this. Oh, but there, that thing in the upper left is... No, that's a clamp. Oh. See? You're right. Because of the cross piece. You can't nail that to a horse's foot. Mm -mm. You can do the one in the bottom right, though. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Good eye. And now you can find a clamp, because clamp is on the list. Oh. Probably the one on the drawer. Yep. They do want that grenade, and then underneath the grenade it says die, and I'm not surprised. <laughs> you pick up some weirdo's grenade, you are going to die. But they probably mean the single die in the bottom drawer. The white six-sided. Right. Uh, the crawdad's on top. Top shelf. Yep, saw that one. So, diamond ring and a pen. There's dynamite. There is also dynamite. <laughs> There's and, a pistol. And somebody... Yeah, it's an ancient pistol, though. Just uh, as concerned about somebody's shelf shrimp. <laughs> There's money! Where? Pile of money oh, back. Oh, yeah! Get it, get it, get it! You won't let us. Why are we so bad at stealing? <laughs> The Come on, detective. This is how we profit. There's the diamond ring. Good eye. Got that, at least. I was not going to spot that. All right. Well, you can find the pen. Is it the blue pen by the weird surgical scissors? Mm -hmm. No? That, that looked kind of pen-like to that me. That does look like a pen, but it's not, I guess. Huh. Um, We'll give it five, and then we'll do the hint. Oh, wait. Here it is. There you go. Fancy fountain pen. Yes, let's burn this place down. It is an abomination. <laughs> but first, let's get the bait gator out of here. Yeah, let's rescue him. Like the trash can full trash of cigars. Trash can full of cigars. Uh, and why do they just have a bunch of bamboo? Uh, the freezer's contents are frozen. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, okay. Under a solid chunk of ice. Look at all the little eyes in there. <laughs> from whatever frozen fish. All right. Um, do we have an ice pick? Do we? I don't know. We got a big inventory at this point. No, and typically when you come across something like this, you have to go find hot water to pour on it oh. to melt it instead of or chipping a things out. Well, probably here it's going to be hot water, I would guess. Mm -hmm. This is a classic car that's in very rough shape. I mean, it, it did come in through a garage door, so they might do some repairs. You can see belts hanging from the ceiling, so they got a sideline in auto repair. <laughs> Which makes sense for being off a gas station. All these license plates, souvenirs from their jail time. Yep. Yeah. And <laughs> these were the best ones I ever made. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're fishing poles. Oh, what? The, all the bamboo. I was like. Oh yeah. 
Okay, so if we get hot water, we know that we need to take it here. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry, what, what's the brand there? The pumps are turned up. Black Plague Patrol. Protroleum. Uh-huh. Okay. The pumps are turned off. Cool. Can we turn the pumps back on? Yeah, I don't really care. We're supposed to be delivering gumbo. It's getting cold. All right. So down the lane? Uh, there is no down the lane here. No? You can't go further? I think they might want to see Out in the way. swamp? What's oh, up, wait. Snake? Is the gumbo for you? Uh, snake, huh? You got a weapon? No. Well, maybe? <laughs> I could throw you in a river and skim stupid for a week. Awful. I'm going to set you on fire, Snake. Could burn you down. <laughs> what in the Sam Hill? Oh, See boy. the fishing lure? Yeah. You ain't Goldilocks and that ain't no wolf. There wasn't no wolf in Goldilocks story. Bumpkin? <laughs> Shut the hell up. That's us talking. <laughs> uh -huh. That's us. Us thinking, I guess. Um, was it this guy? Yeah, who lives here? Locked. I'll have to find another way you inside. Could, you could knock like a delivery person. Um, Do we just... Are we knocking on the window? That is... You can knock on the door. Detective. <laughs> I think the guy was around... Him. No, not him. He the, seems angry. It's the mean guy down this way, I bet. Oh, with the shotgun? Is yeah. the gumbo for him? I bet it is, and that's what's going to pacify him. Nice. Garbage bag full of gumbo? That's as funny as a fart in a spacesuit. I guess that is funny. He did let us come close because we got a garbage bag. Oh, well, got to talk to him. One in one hand, spit in the other, see, see what... Fit. That's not how that expression goes in any sense. It's politer than the actual one. Well, look at here if it ain't my supper. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, I don't want to give it to you. No, I do. Enjoy sure your trash bag gumbo. Being delivered by some stranger. I don't care how you feel. You know, folks around here, we don't take kindly to strangers. Yeah, this shotgun kind of clued me in. Mr. Who? Oh, you must mean that fella moved in next door. I wasn't aware he'd gone missing. All I know is he's keeping odd hours and, and poking around here like he lost something. I also heard that that couple they hired to clean up the place is into the devil magic. They didn't mention that. That would have made them a lot more interesting. <laughs> Tell me about devil magic. You know, voodoo. I hear tell Mary Lee does the cavorting with the spirits and such. If I were you, stranger, I'd keep my distance from that one. She's just trouble looking for a place to happen. Now that's an idiom You're I could go with. Mm -hmm. with yep. Their house next door has been subject to speculation for a long while. Now, I, I can't tell you much about the house's history, but I can tell you this. It sat there empty for as long as I can remember. I'm surprised the Lawsons decided to move in, with it being cursed and all. Of course, they're not river folk like us and probably don't carry much sense. I am also a river person. <laughs> I'm half frog. <laughs> the curse of the pirate Phineas Crown. Some folks believe that house next door was built by him and that his ghost still walks the halls, keeping an eye out for folks trying to steal all his treasure. Listen, stranger, I'd love to talk with you more about this, but my wife's been nagging me all week to get that old air conditioner fixed. <laughs> How about this? Why don't you take a look at it and get that thing fixed, and then I'll tell you all I know about that pirate. That's right. I have a room full of books about pirate history, and oh, oh, I'm definitely gonna do this. Oh, uh, maybe not today, people. Uh, we we gotta call it quits before we fix this fella's air conditioning. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of creature married him. This is the first time, though, that somebody has asked us to do a chore like this, where I'm like, yeah, this guy would do that. He would yeah, pull this he, shit for he sure. He totally has no idea how to fix that thing. He's the sort of person who thinks that a good way to dry a bra is to hang it outside <laughs> on a rainy day. And that sounds like I'm coming up with some kind of a saying. A size D bra and other garments dangle from the clothesline. <laughs> wow. Uh, we're not going to top this, so we're going out on top. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, folks. 
stick with us. We got a ghost pirate to prove they're not real and, and find out wherever dad wandered off to. <laughs> it's going to be exciting. See you next time. Bye. Bye.